The people of the village of Jambiani live with and from the sea. The women harvest seagrass, mussels and crabs. The men set out early in the morning to fish. The catch is meagre. But now they have other ways of earning a living, thanks to a private marine conservation organisation. Sea sponges are a natural, sustainable product that can help ease the locals' dependence on fish, as Mohamed Okala of the Marine Cultures NGO explains. I was so happy to hear about it because I started to see that my community they started to have a problem of uh, sea product. So, of course, uh, aquaculture, I found, I, I found that uh, it's a good way for using uh, uh, marine uh, resource by sustainable way. The sea sponge farmers used to gather sea grass. Now they can earn as much from a single sponge as they once did from a month's worth of sea grass. Kaziji Omar Ali, a divorced mother of four, is very happy with her new occupation. Farming seagrass is very hard work. It's exhausting because you have to haul these wet sacks. And you never have to carry heavy loads with sponge farming. Sponges filter the seawater, which benefits the other creatures in the lagoon. In her courtyard at home, sponge farmer Nasiri Hassan Haji processes the sponge's skeleton into a cosmetic product. When we take them out of the sea, they have to be processed and dried. Then we take them home and pick out the sand, shells and little creatures that were dried inside them. And then we wash them out. With proper care, a sea sponge can last for up to 20 years. We had no idea there were people who used sponges to wash with. Now I'm using one myself. Many little projects like this taken together could succeed in preserving the lagoon's rich biodiversity.